Welcome to its traffic. In this video, I am going to discuss the exercise questions of chapter 5 that is nested loop, uh, nested loop in C from class 10 computer science book, Seba book. So at first, we have to display this pattern. We have to display in its row 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and we have to repeat the row 5 times. So mainly here we will need two loops. To repeat it five times we need one for loop or while loop and again to display the numbers one two three we need another loop so let's do it first we take uh, we'll take two variables for counter as i and z now we will create the for loop for i we initialize as one then we'll as we are repeating three times so i less than equal to five uh, sorry five times five then each time the value of i will be increment uh, sorry i will be increment by one that means plus plus <coughs> inside this for loop we will we will create another for loop here we have to display the numbers one to three so we'll here write j equal one j less than equal to three because we are displaying till three so three then each time the value of j will be increment by one now inside this for loop we are going to display the value of j so printf here we will write percent %d then the value of d will be available in variable j and we will come out from this inner for loop and in outer for loop we will add another printf there we will add a new line now we will all come out from this outer for loop also there we will end the program by writing return 0 so our program done now let's see what will be the output so this is our output 1 2 3 1 2 3 5 times and you will see that numbers are touching to each other to keep space between the numbers we can just put one blank space after d or we can write in between percent and d some numbers if we need extra spaces now you see there is space between the numbers <coughs> now you can take a screenshot of this space and write the answer now we'll move to the next question the next question is this one the same one but here just in place of three we have one that also by using nested loop so we can just do little modification here and do the same program here just uh, now we'll write the numbers from 1 to 2 so here we'll write 2 j less than equal to 2 and where where i'm writing slash n there in before slash n we can add one extra one now if we run the program we'll get this output let's see you can see there is another way that is a little long method so here we'll do what we'll add one another for loop inside the outer for loop so we can just copy this part and we'll paste it here we'll write j equal 1 j less than equal to 1 j plus plus and sorry we will take another variable k in third loop we will write the variable as k so k equal 1 k less than equal 1 k plus plus now if i run the loop we will get the same output you can see oh k is not here so we are getting same output so whatever easy for you you can write that program it is little longer because I am using for loop three times but the previous one I am just adding the one in front of slash n. So whatever is easier for you, you can write that code. <coughs> now we will move to question number C. There we have to display the numbers in descending orders 4, 3, 2, 1 and we have to repeat it five times. So this one you can see 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we have to repeat it five times. So first we will remove all the numbers all the codes this is the answer of question 3 
question C first we'll take a variable i z then we will write for loop as we are going to display four times so or five times so we'll write i equal one i less than equal to five i plus plus this is the outer for loop in inner for loop we'll write four here we have to display from one to four so but in descending uh, descending order from like four three two one so we'll write j equal four then j greater than zero j minus minus and in here we'll display the value of j so print f will write percent d and the value of d is located in j we'll now go to the outer for loop we'll come out from the inner and here we'll write a slash n print f will add a new line now we'll come out from the outer for loop also we'll come to the main program here we'll write print f oh, sorry not print f return 0 return 0 semicolon now if i run the program i'll get this output 4321 4321 4321 5 times this because at in outer for loop i have added i equal 1 i less than equal to 5 that's why it is 5 times and inner for loop i am writing i j equal 4 j less than uh, j greater than 0 means 4 from 4 it will always decrease 4 minus 1 it will be 3 then 2 then 1 1 minus 1 it is 0 so when it is greater than it, when it is not greater than 0 the program will stop so this way we can do the question number question number c and we have more programs uh, this one in triangular form this one also will do question number d and e in next video so stay tuned practice question a b and c in your computer or even you can test uh, check in mobile in one video i'll teach you how you can practice the program in mobile also if you want to watch the same video in SMS language you can subscribe to my next channel where i am giving the videos in SMS. so thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye